early iron age societies impact of iron age on the growth of civilization with the use of iron technology in bc 1000 there came a change in the social and political life the iron technology appears to have come into use in the ganges valley with the advent of indo aryans they made plows and weapons with iron and successfully used them the beginning of social system was laid a new political order was started the city life came into existence in greece china and india new philosophical thoughts emerged the new implements of agriculture and deep plowing helped in rich agricultural yield common people greatly benefited by the knowledge of iron phoenicians devised a script for writing on account of this hebrew arabic and indian languages progressed gold and silver coins came into use as a result of these economic changes political changes also took place republic governments in mountain regions were established in greece phoenicia etruscan states the republic governments with people's representatives came into existence social changes the characteristics of indo-european tribes came to an end traders professional groups craftsmen government servants concentrated and converged into cities developed economy and large scale production increased the leisure of the people this helped in the development of fine arts literature and philosophy early iron civilization in india with the advent of indo aryans the use of iron became widespread in the gangetic valley the ancient kingdoms were established in this region the progress of iron age took place in two stages in the first stage agriculture and the cattle rearing were the sources of economic pursuits there was collective ownership on the agricultural land the professional groups like carpenters potters and weavers came to be formed brahmins occupied respectable position in society the kshatriyas were the ruling and warrior class the vaishyas were engaged in agriculture and trade and the sudras were to serve the above three classes this was the beginning of caste system in india in kashi kosla kuru panchala powerful kings ruled the kingdoms the religious performances were complicated and expensive and were not within the reach of common man in the second phase on account of extensive use of iron in northern india agricultural products greatly increased on account of the development of trade and industry the ancient chinese civilization China is the biggest country in the east of Asian continent. The people of this country suffered many miseries on account of regular floods in the Huanghu River. The ancient Chinese who used bronze and copper began to use iron also. The use of bronze and copper started ancient Chinese civilization which was called Shang civilization. It began roughly BC 1850. Persian civilization In 1480 the tribe speaking Indo-European languages entered into Iran they laid foundation to the Persian culture These tribes mixed with local inhabitants by the 6th century BC they established a laminate dynasty the great ruler of this dynasty was Darius I Greek civilization the indo-europeans of the danube region settled down on the coast of aegean sea they were the greek nationals the ancient greeks wrote on science mathematics and made many experiments euclid and pythagoras brought revolution in the field of geometry hippocrates was known as the father of modern medicine hipparchus could successfully measure the distance between the earth and the moon the physicians of Alexandria studied the anatomy of man and the inner parts of human body. The arts and sculpture of the Greeks were marvelous. Midas, Pythas, and Sain were famous sculptors. 
the Greek culture is very valuable in the history of human civilization, which provided to human culture the liberal imagination and aesthetic values. Roman Civilization Italy is a peninsula in the Mediterranean Sea. The Tiber is an important river of this country. The city of Rome built on its bank became the center of Roman civilization and a meeting point between Eastern and Western civilizations. The ancient Romans were hard-working people. Their main occupations were agricultural, cattle and sheep breeding. The pottery was made of clay and wood. Romans lived in patriarchal families. The parents were highly respected in the family. The women had a respectable place in the society and participated in political and commercial activities. Father and elder brother were considered as the head in the family. Judaism All the religions of the world teach virtue and help in promoting universal welfare of mankind. Some of the important religions of ancient period were Judaism and Christianity. These two religions were born in Palestine. Judaism was a religion of Jewish and Hebrew people. In 1700 BC, great famine struck by the people of Palestine. They migrated to Egypt to save their lives. The rulers of Egypt subjected them to many acts of violence and put them to severe hardships. So they returned to Palestine in 1300 BC. Moses became their leader. Christianity Lord Jesus founded this religion. He belonged to Jewish tribe. He had abundance of love to the miserable people and showed kindness to all the creatures. His teachings were full of mercy, love and service. His radiant personality and attractive features at first made the Jews to believe that their expected Messiah was Jesus only. The Early African Civilization For a long time, the continent of Africa was not known to the outside world, so it was called Dark Continent. The colonial rule of the Europeans started in Africa from 19th century AD on the account of archaeological excavations and experiment. The history of African civilization from the Stone Age to the present day came to light. The reports of the travelers also helped in writing ancient history. Foreign trade flourished in these parts. Three important languages were spoken in this continent. 1. Sudanic 2. Bante 3. Semitic Hemitic languages Egypt was an important country in the continent. Here, 10,000 years ago, before Christ, there flourished Kish Empire with the city of Mero as its capital. There were many iron mines near Meru city and iron was extensively used, agriculture and trade flourished. This region was called Second Birmingham of Africa. After the downfall of Kush Empire in the North Nubia and in the South, Axim Kingdoms were established. In Axiom Kingdom, Adina port was an important trade center. The trade with India and Greece was conducted through this port. The Early American Civilization In the Western Hemisphere, the North and South America is called American Continent. The Portuguese navigator Christopher Columbus sailed in the western waters of Atlantic Ocean and thought that he would reach India. In this voyage, he reached the western islands in America and named them as West Indies. The people here were red in color and are called Red Indians. The European settlers made many explorations and studied about the culture and civilization of the ancient people. There were three important civilizations in the ancient America. 1. Maya Civilization 2. Aztec Civilization 3. Inky Civilization